Hi, Leo, and welcome to your reading for today. This is gonna be your first part, the first part of your reading. Um, it's gonna be your energy reading where we're gonna see what is going on with you at this time. What is it that your angels, your guides, and your uh, ancestors need you to know? Now, what's going on with you, Leo? So remember, it can be past, present, or future. And um, if it's not the message for you, maybe check out another placement, okay? There might be a more fitting message for you there. So let's see. Leo, holy angels. Tell me, what is going on with Leo at this time here? What is going on with Leo, holy angels? King of Swords in reverse. Well, I mean, that's how I looked at him initially. So that's how I'm going to take him. And the Hermit. And Death. Okay. Oh, what I forgot to say for those of you interested in the personal readings, I did open up my bookings again. So um, that's in the description box below. Okay. So let's see. We have out here first the Five of Swords, which is fitting for the fact that I, you know, I flipped him this way around. He landed like this. So I could have taken him both ways, right? But I looked at him like this. So he's in the reverse, this King of Swords here. And this is someone that was um, being very uh, selfish about something, thinking about how they can get what they want, okay? This is uh, someone that will use words, they will use um, calculated moves. Um, this is a very ruthless person, very cold-hearted person. Very cold-hearted. Okay, Hermit. We'll have to see what the Hermit energy is here. Now you do have death at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or with a Virgo, okay? Let's see here. What is the Five of Swords for Leo? Tell me about the Five of Swords for Leo, please. I want this one louder. That's better. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please, for Leo. <laughs> Comes out again, Five of Swords. Okay, yeah, this is definitely um, a very conniving, backstabbing energy here. Um, this is very deceptive. Leo, you fell out on accident. Look, strength. Okay, Eight of Cups. So this person, whoever this is, they're trying to figure out how they're going to leave something behind here. They want to detach themselves from something. They don't want to be connected to something, or this is someone that's just emotionally detached, right? This could be someone that just doesn't have like emotional attachments to a lot of things. Let's just put it that way. But you have it here with the Page of Cups. So they could be thinking about how they're going to come towards you and make you a little stinky fish in a cup offer, right? So that's, I can, I'm assuming, or I can uh, kind of, um, follow that back a little bit, you know, why this person has to use like all five of their brain cells to think about how they're gonna come towards you with a stinky fish in a cup, right? Because this person is emotionally detached. They don't really have feelings. <laughs> okay, a king of swords in reverse, this person doesn't really have a lot of feelings, right? Um, okay, if you guys are wondering, that's just mascara, okay? It's just mascara under my nail. Um, yeah, so now they're thinking about how they're going to come towards you and make their offer believable here. It's like, it's kind of giving me like, this is all they can muster up, right? It's like they're using, they're really thinking hard about this one. They're like, oh, hmm. how can I go towards that person and make them an offer that they're going to accept? Uh. Well, see, what they're not realizing is that this doesn't feel like there's a lot of, like, emotions behind it, right? Or they want to make themselves look really, like, sweet and innocent and cute, but they're trying, like, 
with the five of swords, someone is trying like way too hard, okay? And it's gonna be difficult if you're like emotionally detached in the first place, right? So let's see what this king of swords in reverse is here. Yeah, this person is, uh, I'm just, okay. Mm. This person is a, um, this is someone that's driven by their own carnal needs is what I'm getting. Like all they really care about is what they want. Um, they are someone that takes a lot of um, passion action, but this is someone, they don't have deep emotional bonds at all. This is a King of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse. This person does not have emotional depth to them. They don't have deep emotional bonds to people. They only go off of two things, and that is what what does my mind want and what does that thing downstairs want? Yeah, that's what I get off this person's energy. And then the other thing is how am I gonna get money? Knight of Pentacles. So everything that they do, um, everything that they conspire in their mind or calculate in their mind or um, all of their ruthless, cold-hearted actions and decisions come from two places. Carnal desires, lust, very lustful energy, and someone who is thinking about um, a financial strategy or how to get to some sort of money, okay? This person might have a big ego. They have like an overinflated sense of self. Yeah, they definitely think they're the big man in town, okay? This is giving me kind of like a... This is giving me like a movie energy, like if you were to watch a movie of like a mafia boss or someone who thinks that they're this like top dog mafia boss, right? And you're seeing these movie scenes where this person is either um, looking at the fancy watch and then they like got the briefcase with the money open and then you see them like fucking a stripper and then, you know, that's this kind of energy. And then in the next scene, they're like, you're my enemy, Oof, pop the head off. Like that's this. That's this person's energy in a nutshell, okay? <laughs> so, what's the hermit? Three of pentacles. And this is their, their, their gang members here that work underneath them. This is the hierarchy. Yeah, judgment. <laughs> this is the hierarchy here. Okay? Here's, here's probably the bald-headed uh, mafia boss. <laughs> Sorry. And this is a little like foot, foot soldier like you're gonna go do this and this. Okay, if I tell you to do it, you're going to do it. And it wants go, go do it. <laughs> okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> um I don't know what this reading is yet. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah. All right, so what exactly is this person here trying to achieve here with the Five of Swords? What is this? It has something to do with a community, okay? Or a home, or... I don't know. Either it's real estate or it's a community or something like that. Tower. Tell me more about this, please. Okay, truth. So it is real estate. So it has something to do with real estate? It has something to do with a home? Eight of swords in reverse. They're trying to figure out how they're gonna get themselves out of a bind. Out of a bind. So they feel trapped to something to do with real estate or with a community? Hold on, let's see what this is. What is this four of wands? A, a room, it's a room, it's a house. Family, room, it's definitely real estate. It's a room, okay. So, what do you, what, how, do, how are they thinking they're gonna get out of this bind here? What are they thinking about? Tell me more about the, what this person is thinking about here. Yeah, they're definitely trying to get themselves unattached from something. Devil in reverse, eight of swords reverse. So this person feels like they are currently attached to something to do with a home. They don't want to be attached to this though. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get unattached. What is it that's attaching them to the home? What is it? How are they attached to this? Or what, through a relationship. 
They're attached to real estate because of a relationship. What do you mean? Because of a king of pentacles. So someone has attached to themselves has attached themselves to a property because of a king of pentacles because of an investment and a king of pentacles who is this who is the person that has attached themselves to this who is this person in the five of swords is this this king of swords reverse or who is it king of pentacles comes out again twice now in a row Did you hear my candle crackle? So is so the King of Pentacles is the one that's attached to a, a property. Ten of Wands. Judgment. King of Cups and the High Priestess. So is the is the home is it the King of Pentacles that is thinking about how they're gonna get themselves unattached, or does someone feel like they are attached to a home through a King of Pentacles? Just see so it get lighter in my room. The sun is coming out. Is it the King of Cups that feels like they've attached themselves to something? Tell me more about this property and someone feeling attached to it and why is it, and the connection with the King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles poverty. They're trying to steal it. This is someone that tried to steal something. The magician. With um, an illusion. With an illusion. So they try to steal. So they try to steal a property with an illusion. That's why they feel like they're attached to it now. I don't, honestly, I don't feel like the king of pentacles is the one that feels attached to the home. I feel like the king of pentacles is like a front like someone has created an illusion surrounding a property because they're trying to steal it and get away with it and now someone wants doesn't want to be connected to it but they feel they're bound to it through a relationship i feel like this has something to do with like fraud knight of pentacles this has something to do with a long-term financial strategy that was going on here. So this property was a strategy for this person. Yeah, it was an investment. They invested into a property, whoever this is. And this is what they're trying to figure out, how they're going to get themselves unattached from it. Um, yeah, a communication about a betrayal or they were waiting on some sort of communication about a betrayal. Who was, who was waiting on this communication? Ace of Wands, no, this was their idea. This is the communication they came in with. So they came in with some sort of communication about a betrayal. This was their idea, their plan forward. What does a betrayal have to do with a home or a property? The star, Aquarius, energy. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. A message here. Justice and the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups is at the bottom again. So they have invested into a property I feel like they did it by pretending to be the king of pentacles, but this is fraud. 
I feel like something was done in someone's name that doesn't even know about it. And the way that they did it was by pretending to be in a relationship with this person, but this person did not sign for this. This person does not even know about this. But now this other person feels like they're attached to it. They wanted this investment because they saw this as like a generational income thing. This was a long-term investment here with this property. Now they don't want to be attached to it anymore though because they're, because what they were doing was lying and this was theft and this was like identity fraud. This was criminal what they did. They did something very, very illegal here and now they're trying to figure out how they're going to get out of what they did. Yeah, they, they're trying to figure out how to get out of the conflict because they're really stressed out and worried about being connected to this property. Yeah, okay. Tell me... Um, Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. Again, Five of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the World. Yeah, someone is really trying to think really, really hard about this one, about how they're going to get out of this one. What's the Page of Cups? They're feel, yeah, they're feeling really stressed out and burdened right now. Justice. About messages that were given to the justice system, maybe, to the courts. They feel extremely burdened about some sort of messages. So you're saying that there's messages here or an offer here that also ties into this property theft? Something, tower. So there's also messages here that they fabricated that tie into this to cover up this property theft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ten of Pentacles. This is this large lump sum of money here or this investment or this inheritance or this um, generational income here. Tell me more about the messages they fabricated to cover up this property. King of, a king of wands did a king of wands something about a king of wands in conflict chariot the magician huh Tell me about the Five of Wands. Talking in reverse. There's no talking. There's no text messages, emails. So this is what they're fighting about right now. I feel like this is why they're trying to figure out how they're going to get themselves out of this. Because the problem is all of these text messages, everything that they've turned in was made up. It's fraudulent. These text messages are not real. They've been creating their own evidence here. And this is what they're now fighting about. Why is the chariot here? It, it has something to do with moving forward, moving on, having a new phase, rekindling something, renewing something, transforming something. A karmic relationship. Oh, wait a minute. The magician? They created an illusion about an ending, bringing a new beginning, that after an ending, there's a new beginning here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning after a separation. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary still angry. So wait a minute, did they? Someone here created an illusion claiming that someone is moving forward here. I feel like with the King of Pentacles, they are having a new phase. They're rekindling their love. They're having a new beginning and their new beginning is a home, is investing in a real estate property. Is that what they said? 
So they invested because of a new beginning that they're having, even though this person, even though it's not true. An investment into a relationship. That's how they thought they were gonna get away with something here. Again, with the lovers at the bottom. So did they put a real estate property in the name of the King of Pentacles? And then a feminine energy here claimed that um, they're... How would they even do that? How is somebody feeling like they're tied to it? This is a little bit confusing still. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm, okay. Or is it the King of Pentacles? I don't know, because you have the King of Wands down here now. Okay, tell me more about this real estate property here. The Sun. Or the truth about identity fraud, Seven of Cups. So the truth is there's identity fraud going on here. The truth is there's identity fraud. With a Queen of Swords. The star with an Aquarius. Okay. Or is it with or a queen of swords i'm not sure so there's some sort of identity fraud going on here and it's tied into a real estate property and it has something to do with giving and receiving money or they did this because they thought they were going to be receiving money from this queen of pentacles and the ace of cups and the King of Cups, again, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is yet. Okay, it's a little bit like all over the place. I'm not sure who's the one that's feeling like they need to get out of it. I don't know in whose name they did it. I can't really figure that out yet. But I'm going to move on. Maybe we'll get more information in your um, advice reading, okay? Hmm. So tell me about this um, King of Swords in reverse here. Why is he here? Why is the King of Swords in reverse here? The Seven of Cups, Magician in Reverse, and the Empress. So this King of Swords in Reverse um, was trying to confuse other people, okay? With the Queen of Cups. Who's down here? This person was trying to create um, illusions and confusion surrounding whatever this is, and an empress figure, maybe even a mother figure, a queen of cups. So this person was trying to create confusion here about this, this knight of pentacles, which is this property, this investment here. What is this knight of pentacles? Tell me more about that. They're fighting about it. This investment, this is the investment they're fighting about here. And the star comes out again, Aquarius energy. It has to have something to do with an Aquarius. Because that came out, Aquarius, with the Queen of Swords. This is what they're stressed out about, the truth about this. So there's a truth coming out here about an investment, right? An investment that they made. They're all fighting about this right now. They're fighting about the truth coming out about this. Why? They're really stressed out about it. Everybody is worried here. Why are they worried about this? Because it has to do with the Eight of Pentacles and Lovers? What? Because it has to do, it has to, it ties in with their 
job with their confirmation. Did you hear that just now? This investment that they're fighting about, this property, this real estate, it ties into the fraud, the scam business that was going on here. This mafia boss here, this handler, this is a handler. Lovers in the Eight of Pentacles, that's a handler. That's someone that um, does like prostitution and stuff like that. That's this mafia boss right here. So this property is connected to that money that they were making off of that. It's connected to the Empress and a breakup and a breakup and the king of wands what why is he here again three of swords the empress and a breakup and this and this was a plan here this was part of the plan with a breakup that doesn't even make any fucking sense How does that make sense? What do you mean with a breakup? Why is the Empress here with a breakup? Justice. The King of Swords. A breakup and a plan to make money and a plan for financial abundance because of a breakup? Huh? I feel like I'm missing a piece here. What's the Three of Swords? Knight of Cups. Heartbroken about a romantic gesture or Queen of Pentacles. Heartbroken about a Queen of Pentacles. And a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. What the? And the King of Wands. Yo, look at all these people that came out together, man. Look at this. King of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So these four work together. These two keep coming out as the mature older couple. And these two keep coming out as the idiots who went to a judge or something like that. So these four people working together here were trying to cause someone pain or they said something about, a, about heartbreak. About heartbreak because of a breakup. Heartbreak because of a, a breakup, okay, yeah. But what is this plan here? What is this three of wands? Let's move forward. But you, so, someone moved forward for a new phase to rekindle something. And endings and bring a new beginning. What? Love. What's the nine of pentacles? A new beginning and the snake competition enemy clever malicious look at your shoulder the other woman so they told the justice system that there was a breakup and that someone is now having a new phase and rekindling love after someone is rekindling love after an ending Rekindling love with who? With who? The Four of Swords. Yeah, whatever this was, I don't know, man. It was a fucking made up lie, though. They did this to lie and steal and cheat and get away with something. The sun, yeah, this is what this was. This was a lie to get away with something here. To steal, yeah, to get someone trapped here. King of Pentacles again. What is, I'm missing, I'm definitely missing pieces of the story in here. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, so this property seems to be tied to their scam business that they were running here, this fraud this fucking mafia boss handler sex trafficker up here they invested the they invested money into a home into a property that's what i'm getting here 
the truth is coming out about this that uh, now and they're fighting about it. And this has something to do with telling um, telling a, the judge or telling the justice system that there was a breakup and you want to rekindle something with someone, you want to rekindle love because of heartbreak. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with the property, but okay. Um, and it has something to do with all of these people lying about a breakup and heartbreak and pain and suffering or something like that, okay? Okay, so why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Page of Swords. This is someone that's watching. This is someone that's studying something, looking into something. About an offer. Hermit in reverse. About an offer that was made. Ten of Pentacles. About an offer that was made with this Knight of Cups. Someone being generous and loving and kind. What? In the past, bad news though, Six of Cups. So there's a hermit here that's looking into some sort of communication maybe from the past regarding some sort of an offer. What is this, what is this Ace of Cups? From a community? Or to a community? Main male and an occupation. So that's this right here. That is definitely this. Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. That's this um, scam business here that they were running. Yeah, this is the identity fraud right here. These handlers, disgusting people here. This main male, okay, that was a part of this. Nasty piece of shit. So this a hermit is now looking into this community here. And this main male, because of this occupation, pathway into the path that they chose. What's the hermit reverse? Gift in reverse. They didn't want, because this community didn't want the investigator or the detective to see that something was not a gift. Something was not a gift to this main male. So this main male was claiming that something was a gift. What did he say was a gift here? What did this main male idiot, King of Cups, say it was a gift, huh? Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. What? So an idiot King of Cups main male claimed that they received a gift, which was a Ten of Pentacles. Why? Why would this person receive anything? Because they wanted to control something. They wanted, oh, they wanted control over it, right? Whatever this was, they wanted control over it. They wanted, because this person wanted to control this large amount of money or this inheritance or this property or whatever it is. So a main male idiot here claimed that something was a gift. This 10 of pentacles was a gift. Uh-huh, why? why? How does he come up with that one, huh? Nine of pen, this large amount of money here was a gift. <laughs> uh-huh. That's funny, right? That's funny. Yeah, because this was part of their plan here. This was part of their plan to say that the main male received a gift. Eight of swords. Yeah, this was part of their plan. Now they're, this is what trapped them. Yo, this is what they're trying to figure out at the very beginning right now, right? This is this. How are we going to get the, how are we going to get ourselves untrapped from this um, <clears throat> money, this inheritance or this uh, large amount of money or this lump sum, whatever this is? How are we going to get ourselves unattached to this, unbound from this? You can't, man. You're trapped. You trapped yourself in your own little plan here. So they feel like they're trapped to a large amount of money. A main male claimed in the past that this was a gift, but something was not a gift. This was just part of the strategy, part of the plan to have control over this money. 
this somehow ties into them saying that there was a breakup and that you want to have a new phase and rekindle something. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> so that's what they could have said about this person, right? Whoever this is, the one that's claiming that a bunch of fraud, um, illegal, whatever money this is that they scammed uh, here. This money was um, a gift from you because you decided you wanted to be together with this person. So all of this identity fraud, right, is they're covering it up by saying that they're in a relationship with you and that you gifted them all of this, right? <laughs> hilarious, that's hilarious. The devil, yeah, they're attached to this now. They can't get, they can't get it off their back. They're attached to it now. Oh, look, and it even comes out together. Look, the devil and the eight of swords. This is what they're attached to. This is what they feel like they cannot get out of. It's the same two cards next to each other. So they attach themselves to a lie that first of all, they're dating you. Uh, second of all, you gifted them something. Third of all, um, you. This is a. This is not identity fraud. I promise. I swear it's not identity fraud. I, I promise. This person knows about this money and they gave it to me because we're together. Oh, yeah. I bet you got yourself trapped in that one, man. Okay, big ass lie here. Big lie. All of yeah. This is. Oh, and now they're so sad and upset. Look at them. Oh. Hanging their head in shame. Oh. Poor thing, you. You poor thing. Because this person refuses to grow up. They're a bully, right? They are a bully, okay? So tell me about this group of people working together down here. Three of three of pentacles. This was part of their uh, strategy here. This was part of this entire strategy that they had. This financial strategy that they had here. It ha like I said, it has something to do with... Oh, I get it now. The two of cups because i asked at the very beginning why do they feel like they're attached to this property because of a relationship that's this that's this because they claim that they have a relationship with someone that they don't have a relationship with okay that's that sucks so two of pentacles they planned they all work together and plan something here For money it's all about the pentacles it's all about the money and this could even be like sending the money back and forth right splitting up the money sending the money back and forth this could even be like uh the bank fraud identity fraud splitting something up they all work together to do this here to split the money around this is even giving me like money laundering you want to know why because look at this it goes from three to two to one that's like, that looks like money laundering to me, right? Because it goes from three to two to one. It's like a group of people thought about how they can split it up and then it turns into one, something like that. So they were splitting the money up. The star, again with the star, 10 of cups, pretending something was about family or saying something was for family. Pretending something was like for family, yeah. Yeah, it's all about the moolah. It's all about the money. Look at that. Six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, three, two, one. Now you got the six and the seven. Giving and receiving money for an investment. So they, the way that they split the money up and were sending it around, it had something to do with making it look like you were paying for something for an investment or someone was paying for an investment or someone was receiving money in order to invest it into something else. This was part of their plan. It has something to do with family. So what's the uh, eight of wands? Now that this whole group is fighting about their plan, the five of wands keeps coming out. They're all fighting about it now. Everybody's arguing about it. Everybody's arguing here about what they did, the choices that they made. This entire group is now arguing because the stupid thing about it, right? This is where they're all like fucked, basically. It's because they were all like, <laughs> they were they were like splitting up the money, laundering it back and forth, putting it in different fraudulent fake bank accounts that they're controlling, right? And they have like basically all of themselves like implicated themselves in it, right? I feel like everybody implicated themselves in it. And that's what they're fighting about now is because everybody's story is starting to fall apart and now they all look guilty. Now it's, I feel like it's coming out that all of them lied. 
they all try to keep the same story straight and it was because they were all trying to profit off of this whatever this is tell me about judgment they're under judgment for being thieves and liars they're under judgment now they are they're under judgment for being criminals For, and their investments, what they invested into, they invested into something, or it has something to do with some sort of financial news that they're that they try to steal. They try to steal financial news or an investment. Ace of Wands reversed. They're gonna miss this opportunity. This is gonna be blocked because of a queen, because of a Queen of Pentacles, because of a because a Queen of Pentacles took a risk with messages. Because of the risk that a Queen of Pentacles took with messages. What was the risk that this Queen of Pentacles took with messages? What does that have to do with this? With a King of Cups. Because they fabricated messages. Because they, all of this, and the Queen of Wands, look at them. Here they all are, together. They all did this together. This Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. They all fabricated all of these fucking fake-ass messages together to get to this Ten of Pentacles. These are all fake messages that they created here. Okay, tell me more about these fake messages. Yeah, they're exposed now. Hand of cards in reverse. Oops, stupid risk that they took here. Tell me more about this page of cups, these lies. It has some of the messages about making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and then you have self-indulgence. So there, it's messages about self Someone being by themselves? What do you mean someone being by themselves? Or someone wanting, I like you, romance is blooming, want a date? What? Messages about I like you, romance, whatever this was, man, it was not unconditional love. Uh, no, no falling in love here. No giving and rec uh, receiving affection. Or... <sighs> what is this? Hammer. Wanting to rebuild something, work on something together. What? With the... With who? Huh? Ugh, with the King of Cups? Ew. So they created fake messages about you... Um, Wanting to date the King of Cups again and want to rebuild something with them? Ew. Gross. Yeah, you're not in a narcissist, though. Ew, no thank you. No narcissist for you. No nar no self-absorbed narcissist here for Leo. No thank you, man. Gross. Okay. Yeah, they lied. Sword in the Rose in reverse. There, this was, This was not the truth. Definitely not. They lied about this. Okay. Someone is not codependent, obsessive, possessive, and controlling. What is this? Did they say in these, what is this with these messages and wanting to rebuild something here and work on something here? What is this? Yeah, a family. Uh-huh, sure, man. Okay. Yeah, high priestess. Yeah, okay, I already know. Yeah, it's... It's, it's them claiming that you were, you came towards, what, the King of Cups and you want to work on it with them and you're like, you want to date them and someone likes you, fun, ugh, fun flirting, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, oh, look what's back. <laughs> look, I just split it on this person accidentally. Gross, okay, so that's how they got to this lie over here. So they pretended you're in a relationship with this King of Cups, like this could even be an ex. You could even, if you have children with this person, they made up a whole lie and timeline and a fake illusion um, about how you wanna be a family with them again, right? Like this person, I swear, this is that King of Cups that lays in bed at night and fantasizes about you and probably gets off on it, right? Because they're so fucking desperate and pathetic knowing that they're never gonna be with you again. So all they can do with their desperate little low life friends is come together and write fake, fake, uh, fake text messages, 
pretending that you guys are going to be together again or something like that because this person is so fucking desperate and obviously still in love with someone that does not even want them at all. Like, I swear to God, Leo, you do not want this person a single bit. You would not even touch this person, not even before disinfecting this person with a bottle of disinfectant, okay? That's how you see them. And they want to create fake text messages about you rebuilding something with them working on it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can't even make it up. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe that just came out. Yo, that's the truth. Mr. King of Cups, okay? Take the fucking hint and stop with the text messages because it's it making you look really fucking stupid, yo. Someone does not want you. Someone does not think about you. Someone would never, ever, ever take you back, okay? That's this person. That's the ick person that makes me want to throw up and gag, okay? Yeah. So that's what they did here. They said that you were in a relationship with them and because you're in a relationship with them, you decided to send them a bunch of money as a gift. Oh, from the fake fraud scam business that this King of Cups was running in someone's name with the Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. So they were sending their own fraud scam illegal blood money to themselves and then saying, oh, I, I got it from the fake identity fraud business because we're in a relationship. Ew, this person is so nasty and low vibrational, disgusting and toxic to me. Like they all are, but especially this King of Cups. That one is, that one's real nasty. Okay. All right, uh, Leo, I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see in your second reading if there's anything else you need to know and if there's any advice, okay, for you. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye.